welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today for filing. Now this is just a recommended filing system for you, okay? Please be sure and do whatever your employer wants you to do. But if you're looking for something, if you're looking for a way to keep your files, this is definitely what I suggest. And the reason I do is because I'm enrolled to practice before the Internal Revenue Service. I have over 25 years of tax experience. I've been through quite a few audits and every single one want the Internal Revenue Service wants you to substantiate amounts that you have put into certain accounts. So we're going to look at the paper system first. You have your file cabinet set up, of course. And we're going to have a lot of hanging folders. And each folder is going to be set up for each account in your chart of accounts. We have some little tabs that we can put on here. And that little tab will stick up and have advertising, utilities, telephone, whatever account that this folder is for. Then inside this folder will be more folders, each of these for every vendor that it has been posted to this particular account. And that way, if you're audited and they want you to substantiate what is in a particular account, all you have to do is pull this one folder, okay? So easy. Now make sure you file everything in these hanging folders in alphabetical order, and the latest one goes in front. So let's go ahead and not waste any more time and get straight to the computer. I'll see you in a few minutes. Here we are on my desktop. We go down here to this little folder down on the bottom, or you can sometimes find it in your start menu. From this folder, we find documents. Inside documents, we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it vendor files. Inside of this folder is where we will have all of our other folders, okay? This one we're going to pen over to the, the navigation bar over here just to make it easier to find. You can also drag it and drop it on your desktop. Sometimes that's even better. Uh, I'm not sure what where you keep your files. The cloud is the best I hear right now, but you, it could still probably work about this same way. Okay, so in our vendor files folder, we are going to start opening up another folder for all of our accounts in our chart of accounts. We're going to cover just a few for Jack that we have already created in our chart of accounts and have been working with. Our first one will be cash operating. You want a folder for each of your accounts, even your, your um, asset and liability accounts, okay? We'll go over that as we go. Every time I open a new account, we'll start a new folder. We will discuss this filing a lot more in detail as we go. I don't want to give you too much all at once. All right, so in the cash operating folder, we create a new, another new folder called 2016, the year that you're working on. Inside that folder, we have an, a new folder, and that is the name of our bank. So that would be our local bank, whatever the name of your bank is. And then inside that folder, you can uh, drag and drop or cut and paste however you move your documents around your bank statements can go in here. And if you name them, um, let me just use one of these over here as an example. I'm gonna drag this in. It's not a bank statement, but it will show you what I'm talking about. You can rename that here and call it 01 January. And I use 01 January, 02 February, 03 March, et cetera, et cetera. That keeps them in order for me so that I can find them easy enough, okay? I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now let's go ahead and go back to our vendor files. We are going to open our next folder. It will be building. And inside this folder, we'll have another folder, 2016. Should only be the one. And inside this folder, this is actually Jack's personal building. And inside this folder, would, would he, we would put all of the documents that he has that recorded the transfer of the building from his personal name into his business name, if that applied. But Jack is a sole proprietor still. So the, the building is in Jack's name. Nothing really had to take place. All we're going to put in this folder is a some kind of documentation, anything, a Word document stating that Jack transferred the building into the business on this date. That is enough to go in this folder for right now. 
Okay, then we come back over to our vendor files folder. Our next account is equipment. So we have a new folder for equipment. And again, we have a new folder for the year. And then we have inside that folder, a vendor folder. And he bought this from the local equipment company. All right, inside this folder will be the receipt that Jack received when he purchased his table saw. That is what goes inside this folder. All right, and this is very important because I'm in the state of Florida. In the state of Florida, we have to report to the state our uh, assets, our tangible assets that we have and pay tangible tax on. Then every once in a while, the state of Florida will decide to audit our equipment purchases to make sure that we paid sales tax on those and we didn't use our tax exempt certificate if we have one. So they will come to us and say, we want to audit this year, this year, and that year. And we want you to show us invoices on all of this equipment that you have put on your tangible return. Well, if you have a folder for equipment, that makes life so much easier because then all you have to do is go to each year that they want to audit and pull those invoices nice and easy from here. This is why I love this system. It works extremely well for a state and IRS audits. All right, so then we'll go ahead and create a new folder. Not in here. We have to go back to our vendor files folder, add a new account. We're going to do the credit card payable account here. Okay, so in this folder, we will add the year. And then we will add a folder for each credit card we have. Sometimes we have more than one. So this one was, oh, I don't know. I can't just use credit card. I don't want to use a name and get in trouble. So in this will be credit card one. That's what I'll do. I'll call it credit card one. And then we could have credit card two. And then inside each of these folders will be your monthly statements, same as the bank. You put them in order 01, 02, 03 with the month, and that way they stay in order. All right, so one more, we'll cover one more, the expense account. Uh, let's go ahead and do supplies inside that folder. We do the year inside that folder each vendor that we buy from, local hardware, and inside that folder, that's where you will copy and paste or drag and drop. And that is all there is to it. And let me show you this one little trick too. This is why I love the doing filing on the computer. If you go to your vendor files folder, and let's say you're looking for a particular vendor and you do have no idea what account you posted it to, all you have to do is go over here to your search box and type in local hardware and that folder will pop up with everything for local hardware and if there's more than one all of them will pop up here and make it so much easier for you to find what you need so now we have all of our accounts in here this matches our income statement and it's going to match the tax return as well because we give our income statement to our tax preparer. They take the information off the income statement and put it on the tax return. And now if the Internal Revenue Service wants to question something that's on that tax return, it should match your income statement, which of course should in turn match your folders over here so that you can quickly and easily pull all of the invoices uh, for whatever account it is that they are questioning. For instance, if they are, want to know why you have so much in supplies and they want you to show invoices to prove that you spent that much on supplies, you come over to your supplies folder for whatever year they're auditing and all of your vendors will be right there ready to go for you to uh, substantiate to the IRS. I love this system. I really wish everybody would use it. It's so easy. So help me spread the word. Share my videos, please. Thank you very much. I hope you subscribe. I think you get updates when I post new videos. Okay, great. That's all there is to it. So I look forward to seeing you next time. And thank you so much for being here with me today.